Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was just looking for inspiration from other artists and I didn't really find anything that jumped out at me like that. So I went on to Adobe Draw, took a Blake face chart and started to draw my own little makeup look. I added a bunch of neon colors and then I realized it started to look like the Please Stand By kind of logo, I guess, print. I don't know what to call it. The s symbol? <laughs> I don't know, but it looked like that, so I just decided to do this today, but drip it over my face, so if you want to know how I did that, then keep on watching. Alright, since this is all just one big look, I'm going to start off on the face, so first let's prime using my Benefit Professional Primer. Now I'm going to apply a light layer of my ColourPop No Filter Foundation Stick in the shade 07 Neutral. I'm going to blend this out using my Morphe M439 brush. Now I'm going to apply a light layer of my color Pop No Filter Concealer in the shade Fair 02. I'm going to add quite a bit to my forehead today because I want the colors to pop. I'm going to blend this out with my Morphe M173 brush. While we're here, I'm going to quickly prime my eyes using my MAC Soft Ogre Paint Pot in my M173 brush. Now I'm going to set where we conceal the side for my forehead using my Morphe E48 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in the shade 05. Now I'm going to set the rest of my face, again avoiding my forehead using my Morphe M527 brush and my Maybelline Fit Me Translucent Press Powder. I'm going to set my eyelids as well. So I first had the idea to lay down some tape so I could do the lines nice and straight, but I don't want that to pick up my foundation and just like make it a whole big mess. So I think I'm just going to try my best with a flat brush to make the lines perfectly straight and just work with it from there. So I'm going to take the Neon Yellow Makeup on Murder Poison Pigment, spray some water in there, and just paint on this little yellow spot. So I actually made the yellow a little bit too big, but it's okay because I'm just going to go in with the green now, and I know that that is going to end right in the center of my face, so I will just work with it how I can and then add the teal in later and fix it. Okay, so next up is like a pinkish kind of purple fuchsia color and I don't really have that as a pigment. I have pink and then I have purple and the purple is kind of dark so I'm going to mix them both together in a small little container and see if that gives me the color that I'm looking for. Okay, I think I made a pretty good match for the color that I need. So let's go in and do this color now. Oh yeah, that's a good match. Okay. All right, next up in the line is neon red and then neon blue. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, and for the turquoise shade, I'm going to use Cute from the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Drawbreaker Palette. I'm just picking this up on an e.l.f. blending brush. I'm going to mix in some Brain Freeze to try and brighten it up a little bit. I think I'm going to layer the Breakfast at Tiffany's liquid lip over this just to make it a little brighter so it's all cohesive. There we go, I like the look of this a lot better. All right, now I'm going to begin dripping down all of these colors around my eye and on my eye, so I'm just going to speed through that. Oh, 
Bone with coat, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad with the baseline drops. It's a vibes in ting, no skank in the rave. No skank in the rave. Bone with coat, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad with the baseline drops. It's a vibes in ting, no skank in the rave. We a skank in the rave. Bone with coat, no champs in the rave. Crowd go mad with the baseline drops. It's a vibes in ting, no skank in the rave. Alright, I'm all done with the colors, so now let's move on to the rest of the face. First, I'm going to contour using my Morphe E4 brush and my Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Contour Kit. Alright, I'm just going to go in with just a little bit of blush today. I'm going to use Holiday by ColourPop on my Morphe M405 brush. Now for highlight, I'm going to use Ethereal from the BH Cosmetic Spotlight Highlighting Palette on my Morphe M501 brush. For lips, I'm just going to go in with a black liquid lipstick. Here's the finished look, guys. Really hope you enjoyed today's video. And if you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe. Hit that little bell icon so you never miss out when I upload. And I will see you in the next video. Bye!